Solution 13.5 gram per centimeter cube. This is the 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 यह सी लेवल में हो, सी लेवल में हैं मिले, यदि मार्करी बैरोमीटर लाए, ऐसे नहीं रखने हो बने, यह बैरोमीट्रिक ट्यूब भी इतना मार्करी ले 76 सेंटीमीटर सम्मा वोल्ड करना सकता है, तो इसलिए ऐसे ही मिले थ्योरेटिकल उसमें मैंने पूजन बार में हूँ जा, तो यहाँ हमें ऐसे को न्यूमेरिकल कर � um, here we have to find out the pressure, it means pressure only in SI unit, that's why we have to change this centimeter into SI unit, which is meter, dividing with 100, 0 0.76 meter, then <coughs> density of mercury, which is given 13.5 gram per centimeter cube, and to change it into kg per meter cube, SI unit, we have to multiply it by 1000, it means it becomes 13500 kg per meter cube. And acceleration due to gravity also have to be used here, and which is 9.8 average value we have to use here, meter per second square in the SI system, and pressure is equal to what? We have pressure P is equal to SDG. We have already proved it, and as the formula we have to use here, 
<coughs> and the value of h is 0 0.76 into d 13,500 SI system and into Z 9.8 Pascal. Okay, after multiplication, we get 100548 Pascal, and it is the pressure given by mercury on the surface of the earth at sea level because this is the mercury barometer and uh, up to 707 sorry 76 centimeter uh, height the mercury level is held by the atmosphere that's why and uh, it is always in sea level it is the standard unit the standard quantity of atmospheric pressure which is 760 mm hg <coughs> similarly We can waste the second example. Find the value of unknown quantities as the following. In this figure, pressure has to be given from the piston A and the pressure moves outward from B and C with equal pressure according to Pascal law. And according to Pascal law, two quantities will be, have to be uh, taken, which are force and area. And in the piston A, there are force F1 and area A1. And piston B, there is area A2, but not force. We have to find out it. And in piston C, F3 is given and A3 is not here. We have to find out it. Now, <coughs> solution. According to Pascal law, we have to use the relation, but uh, taking piston A and piston B first. For this F1 is 50 Newton, A1 is 15 centimeter square we have to change into SI system that's why 15 divided by if there is only one centimeter then we have to divide by 100 and uh, here is the square that's why you have to divide by 100 into 100 it means 10,000 meter square it means. then F2 is equal to sorry A2 is given which is 30 centimeter square same as the first 30 divided by meter square and here is not F2 that's why we have to find out it. We have F1 by A1 is equal to F2 by A2 is the relation of Pascal law or here we have to find out F2 it means F2 is equal to F1 into A2. F1 is 50 Newton into A2 is 30 divided by 10,000 by uh, a1 a1 is 15 divided by 10,000 10,000 10,000 caught 15 to the 30 it means 100 Newton value of F2 is 100 Newton similarly again taking we can take piston A and piston C as well as uh, or piston B and piston C also. We have to find out uh, for the piston C, find the value of A3 uh, related to piston C and for this we can take A and C either or B and C. Taking A and C and for this also we have to use the relation same as the first that's why f1 by a1 is equal to here f3 by a3 and here we have to find out a3 that's why a3 equals to f3 into a1 
F3 is given which is 200 Newton into A1 is 15 divided by 10,000 divided by F1 F1 is sorry F1 F1 is 50 Newton A3 is equal to Was that 60. 60 divided by 10,000 meter square and uh, as the previous one to write in easiest way we can write in decimal system as well as in, in centimeter system uh, to change into CGS system we have to multiply it by 100 into 100 because here is a square that's why 10,000, 10,000 cancel, 60 centimeter square is the area of piston C. Therefore, here uh, in the question, there were there are two unknown values, and this is 100 Newton, and another one is K3, which is 60 centimeter square. Like this. This one problem can be solved using Pascal now. And this type of question will be asked using hydraulic press also. And uh, that relation we have already proved also in the theoretical portion. And by using this relation, Pascal law, then in that problem also we can solve easily in the same way. <clears throat> okay, now we are going to discuss the another question. Third type. Third type of question. What portion of a block having density eight hundred kg per meter cube? inside water which is partially sinks into water <coughs> for this type of problem Yeah, only one density is given, that's why you have to write density of block. We can write DB, B is block. 800 kg per meter cube. And this one block is taken into water, that's why density of water also is needed here. And which is DW density of water, and it is in uh, this is the SI system. That's why in SI system density of water we have to write ourselves, which is one thousand kg per meter cube, <laughs> and we have to write or we have to find out here what portion is inside water when it is taken into water. The question is this. And to solve this type of problem, there are different ways. This is the mathematics and mathematical uh, solution can be done by using different type of methods. And here, <coughs> uh, one method I am giving you, which is, uh, I think, which is easier also. And for this type of problem, if this type of problem is given in different way, different point of view, but uh, in that case also you can solve by using the same way there will not be the confusion that's why uh, firstly <coughs> we have to know the block which is taken into water is floating object or sinking object firstly we have to find out it obviously in according to question here is given 
inside water and which is partially sinks it means it is floating and according to the law of flotation floating object means we have to use the law of flotation that's why according to law of flotation <coughs> weight of water displaced is equal to weight of block which is floated <coughs> which is floated into water weight of water displaced so what is the formula of weight we have to know it very easy mass of displaced water into acceleration due to gravity is the formula of weight and here also by the same way we have to write mass of block into acceleration due to gravity these two can be cancelled here and again mass is not given in question that's why again we have to use the formula to change into mass also and to change it we have to use the formula of density density is equal to m by b and what is the formula of mass density into volume density of water into volume of displaced water this one rule have to be used this one formula here also density of block into volume of block uh, and to find the ratio portion means ratio what part is inside water we have to found out it that's why here uh, this is the volume of displaced water volume of displaced water is volume of portion of that block inside water with that volume is displaced that, and total volume of block is here we have to take this one more vv here we have to shift in left hand side then if you shift this uh, density of water in right hand side then density of block divided by density of water or this one volume of displaced water is the volume of block inside water and this is the total volume of block volume of block inside water and total volume of block inside water and total volume of block is equal to density of block which is 800 divided by density of water is 1000 and volume of that immersed portion immersed part and total volume ratio of these two is the part inside water according to rule of fraction inside water equals to uh, 4 divided by 5 this is the answer and if the question is asked find the portion outside water then what have to be done if you want to find uh, outside of water part part outside of water then uh, whole part is 1 and immersed part is 4 by 5 if, we, if you subtract these two then you get portion outside water which is 1 by 5 but according to question up to here only you have to do but uh, this also may be asked then you have to do up to here okay if the object which is float in water is given to you given in question then by using law of flotation we can solve in this way and if this type of floating object is given in different point of different type of um, way then in such ways also or in different ways also same formula can be used which is weight of water displaced is equal to weight of the floating body according to law of flotation okay another one also we can see here <coughs> example 4 Example 4 uh, An iceberg of size 60 centimeter by 30 centimeter by 40, I don't, 40 centimeter by 20 centimeter 
having density 0 0.9 gram per centimeter cube is taken into water what height will be outside water okay question just like previous but the given condition are different here and in such questions also I have already told you we have to do by the same way and this type of question is very much important also uh, length breadth and height of the iceberg is given that's why from the given condition we can calculate volume of iceberg volume of iceberg is l into b into h l is 60 into 40 into 20 centimeter then 48,000 centimeter square is the volume and volume is in sorry centimeter cube volume is uh, means uh, size is given in CGS system as well as density also in CGS system it means if all the quantities are in same system then uh, to find the height we can use CGS also not necessary to change SI system but uh, if we have to find out force pressure uh, like that then in that case only we have to change into SI system but height may be in CGS system also density of iceberg which is also given which is 0 0.9 gram per centimeter cube it is in CGS it, is, it means we have to left it density of water is needed because that iceberg is taken into water which is 1 gram per centimeter cube in CGS system <coughs> and we have to find out height outside water and I have already told you in this question in this type of question also iceberg density of iceberg is lesser than density of water that's why iceberg is also just float into water and law of flotation we have to use here also we have weight of iceberg is equal to weight of displaced water here you have to use displaced water displaced water equals to weight of iceberg or weight of displaced water we have already done in previous question displaced mass into acceleration due to gravity and here also weight means mass of iceberg into acceleration due to gravity both have cancelled mass of displaced water is not given it means again we have to use formula density of water into volume of displaced water here also density of iceberg into volume of iceberg and uh, here volume of displaced water is not given it means we have to find out it volume of displaced water equals to density of iceberg 0 0.9 volume of iceberg 48,000 divided by density of water which is 1 that's why I have already told you volume of displaced water is volume of iceberg which is inside water that portion which is inside water displaced the same volume of water that's why here we can write volume of iceberg inside water which is uh, 0 0 43 Zero, zero, centimeter cube. Volume of iceberg inside water is already came. And total volume of iceberg is given. And in previous question also, I have already told you 
ratio of this volume and this volume is the portion inside water. Now, portion inside water equals to volume of iceberg, sorry, volume of iceberg inside water, inside water divided by volume of iceberg, 43200 divided by 48,000. It means after calculation we get it is 9 by 10. Again, and in the question there is asked uh, height outside water. It means to solve it we have to find out the portion outside water. Portion outside water equals to 1 minus 9 by 10 equals to 1 by 10. Therefore, this is the portion outside water height outside water equals to 1 by 10 into height of the iceberg is given 20 centimeter. That's why 20 centimeter we have to multiply 2 centimeter. Okay. Total height was 20 centimeter in the given question and uh, according to question and after calculation we get 2 centimeter is outside of water. It means uh, how much centimeter is inside water? 18 centimeter, 20 minus 2 or here we can multiply it. If we multiply it by 20 here then 0, 0 cancel 9 to the 18 centimeter height is inside water and only 2 centimeter is outside water. And if the floating object is given in different ways, I have already told you, then you can use by the same way. You can solve by the same way. Now another question. <coughs> Which is sinking into water? For that also we can solve. For an example, example 5, if a stone of mass 2 kg and density 2.5 gram per centimeter cube is taken into water, what will be the of thrust of water if that type of object is taken into water by which of thrust that water pushes the object upward of thrust means upward force if we have to find out it Mass of stone is 2 kg already in SI system. Density of stone. Here we have to find out of thrust. Of thrust is force and to calculate force the system should be in SI system. That's why we have to change this 2.5 gram per centimeter cube into SI system into 1000. It means 2500 kg per meter cube. Uh, Another is density of water, we have to use here, which is 1000 in the SI system, kg per meter cube. And of thrust is equal to what? This one, uh, stone in, is, uh, means density of stone is here, 2500 kg per meter cube, and density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube. And by comparing these two densities, we can understand stone sinks in water. It means it is the sinking object. I have already told you, for the floating object, we have to take law of flotation. Weight of water displaced is equal to weight of body. But here, it is the sinking. It means weight is not equal. And what is equal there? Density. Density of, we have... Sorry, no density, volume. 
what portion is uh, portion of the objects in previous question also we used that that portion which is inside water uh, is the is equal to the weight of water displaced but here is whole stone is whole stone sinks into water it means volume of stone is equal to volume of displaced water okay whole stone is uh, sinking into water it means it displaces the equal volume of water also that's why volume we have to take volume of displaced water is equal to volume of stone same way it is also and here we have to use the formula of volume d is equal to m by b again and b is equal to m by t mass of displaced water by volume of sorry density of water is equal to mass of stone by density of stone or we have to find out mass of displaced water here mass of displaced water is equal to mass of stone 2 kg density of water 1000 divided by uh, density of stone 2.5 therefore after calculation mass of displaced water equals to eighty. 800 kg Eight hundred kg two kg now <laughs> again this is the mass of displaced water not of thrust we have to find out of thrust and according to uh, Archimedes law here we have to use the Archimedes law also of thrust is equal to weight of displaced water in theoretical portion we have already learned it weight of displaced water is equal to here is mass of displaced water it means mass of displaced water into acceleration due to gravity is the weight and mass of displaced water is 800 into <coughs> Oh, sorry, uh, here 2.5 is in the cannot be used. SI system 2500 have to be used. It means after division, then we get 0 0.8 kg. Sorry, 0 0.8 into 9.8, 7.64. 7 Newton. 8.4. Oh, 7.84, sorry. 7.84 Newton. It is the up thrust. Like this, if the body, body which it sinks into water is given, then in this way we have to do it. <coughs> or uh, in numericals related to pressure, again, other type of simplest form of questions also will be there and some of the hints I am giving you. <coughs> Listen here. If weight of the object in air is given which is 20 Newton and inside water is given same object which is inside water and its weight is given 15 Newton then uh, in this example we can find different type of quantities like of thrust or firstly water weight of water displaced weight of water displaced by the body weight of water displaced is weight in air minus weight in water 20 newton minus 15 newton and after subtraction we get weight of water displaced which is 5 newton and according to Archimedes law uh, of thrust is equal to weight of displaced water and which is 5 newton it means of thrust also can be calculated here and uh, weight of water displaced also can be calculated 
and if it is not given weight of displaced water 5 newton is given then uh, again we can find the weight of the body inside water which is by subtraction 20 minus 5 is 15 newton and this one you have already done in verification of Archimedes law this type of questions also will be asked <coughs> another if any kinds of rectangular or any form that may be cylindrical also which is given into water and different height is given h1 and h2 given then in this case also we can find out the resultant pressure resultant of thrust etc which you have already learned resultant, resultant pressure is equal to dg h2 minus h1 and resultant of thrust is a dg h2 minus that's one. This formula have to be used, which is uh, already discussed in theoretical portion also. And in such type, uh, means uh, this type of questions also will be asked, and only formula is necessary. Okay, thank you very much. Today we discussed the different type of numericals which may be asked in the topic pressure. And like this, you, have, you can do very well. Thank you very much and stay at your home be safe thank you